Hello everybody and welcome back to more Octopath Traveler. So last time we did the first chunk of Cyrus's, not Cyprus, I keep making that mistake, I know. Chapter 1 and now we have him tagged together with Tressa and we are going to explore these caves together. And we can chuck this, get some healing grapes. Hopefully a battle trigger soon so I can actually explain what Cyrus does. There we go. You were caught by surprise, uh oh. Study foe. Oh, study foe shows a weakness. Interesting. Okay, so uh unlike Tressa, uh Cyrus here only has one weapon type. He can only use the cane staff. But in exchange, he has multiple spell types, so he can use fire or ice. And mind you, this is on top of having, what's it called? Uh, it's on top of having the wind type that Tress already has. And I, if I remember right, you can actually unlock the lightning as well through his jobs. Let's see, like this one probably just allows you to use physicals. Are you weak to bows? You are not. So something you might notice too is that I can actually view, or not view, sorry, it, I actually have two separate sets of those dots that I use to power my attacks like this. If I do that, it won't affect Tress at all. So you can combo this like that. Well, you called the Ice Set, and also, uh, yeah, that one is pretty obvious. 52%. Yeah, I might as well try it. I don't think it'll do anything. Considering this generally works on a by item basis, so what I think that means is that the other two weapon types I don't have access to, or two of the others like swords, axes, daggers, like one of those is gonna end up being the question marks. 90%. I'll take that 50 money. Nice. Cyrus is up to level 2. So I'm actually going to go back for us too late because uh, Cyrus needs a new weapon. That became painfully obvious. But he just was not dealing damage. I don't think it'll let me leave the city, but I don't need to leave the city. I just need to come in here and buy a new staff. I can't afford the most expensive one, but I don't need the most expensive one. Uh, port seems to be plenty. It does decrease my critical slightly, but who cares? <laughs> Criticals, I... Critical could be zero for all I care. I just don't care. Oh yeah, I can sell these too. Seven hundred. Ooh yeah. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's go. Okay, he should actually pack a bit more of a punch now. I should probably check my job points too, because. Depending on how the job point system works in this game, Cyrus might already have enough to go up by one. And uh, no, he only has five points. And he can learn lightning. But I just don't have enough with him. Only fought one or two enemies, so it makes sense, but yeah. Obviously the first thing I want is lightning bolt for him, just so he has three element types instead of just two. Herb of Claimer. I have no idea what that does, but it sounds good. Alright, anybody want to beat me up? I have lunch money! There we go. Oh! He studied foe again. And it was sword. So my theory was correct. Yeah, it does have double damage. 
compared to before, so definitely worth it. 33%, not really that good. Uh, let's... Ah, oh, he overdid it. Can I go around? There's that chest over there I really wanted. Maybe I get it this way? This does look like it's going right. There's a... Why is that path there if you can't go right? You get this one at least. Oh, and Axe! Okay. So I guess every time I fight Osiris in the party, I'm gonna learn one of your weaknesses. That's really handy, actually. Okay, I know it's talking about you being violent for, but like, 70s to 30s. That is not good. 71% yield, sure. I'll take that chance. There we go, bye bye. And he leveled up. Nice. We got a plum. Which I believe the plums are what restore your SP. Which for Cyrus is actually really good. I haven't used the eggs I haven't needed to. You have a light weakness, which I don't have the ability to use light, so that's a problem. Okay, so you... You weak to fire? Fire is a typical weakness for undeads. Oh, you're weak to... Okay, good. That means that Jessica can actually do something. Oh, plum is for SP, so what was... Huh, I wonder. Might as well. That is massive overkill. I approve. JP 52 and 19. Oof, my numbers are going up fast. Which I'm totally fine with, mind you. Like, uh, I want to hit 30 in time for the boss. Am I supposed to get that chest down there? I want it so bad. Herb of Light. I want it! You have a weakness to axes that I can't exploit. The poles that I can exploit. Take a wild guess. Hmm. You weren't weak to it, but it still worked. Twenty-four. You're almost at your thirty. Hmm. I think we have to give up on that dream. Like, it's just a chest. I don't really consider that important for completion. Alright, let's... I was gonna say, let's try to get another uh, trigger. I'd already up to 39. Um, I was worried there might be overkill. 39, come on. Fine, one more fight. I guess I can run around for a little while. See if I can't find out how to get that chest. I mean, I'm basically stubbornly going to run around at this point and uh, 
I'm pretty nervous. I'm probably gonna stop recording. I'm just going to search out wherever this is. Like, I may start recording in, like, whenever I get a level up, but I'll, even that will only be for a moment. Or if I find a new enemy. Or if I run into an enemy that needs to be explosive, like, stuff like that. Nothing actually important. Well, but first... Alright, teach me Lightning Bolt. Deal the HP and the weakness of a single foe, so that... I was gonna say that's good, but honestly, that is worthless. <laughs> Since I can basically just pretend to use Collect, and it's basically the same thing. So, these all are all the same as the four, but they do double damage. Oh! I found the path! There it is. Wind attire. That sounds like equipment. That is a direct upgrade. You are wearing it. Okay. Well, maybe I won't have to uh, stop recording after all. Yeah, I guess I'm lightning now too. Handy. What to do? What to do? Oh, I'll take the eighty-five percent. Overkill, maybe. I just don't care. Touch. Of course. So I don't think I can get that chest until I go through the fight here. Unless it lets me run straight on. They really want me to fight these things. That's because like I know there's a fire variant, but they just won't let me fight for some reason. Try it. Oh, another level up. This is almost level seven. All stars are just five, so they're they're basically caught up. I don't really need to worry about healing drapes. I have twelve. I one of them because I'm gonna inevitably need it for spit risk here. I'm going to take a gamble and hope this doesn't auto trick it. Okay, it doesn't. So I can just go and grab this chest. A light soul stone. Then I'm gonna go save again. Oh, one of you again. What is the logical course of action? I did it. 21%. That was overkill. Oops. Oh, and yeah, you got your level up. Nice. Oh, I don't even need to use any items because you're already back at your max SP. Well, that's handy. Okay, let's go. Never trust to suddenly stop existing for a few seconds. Minutes. However long this takes. Hello, I would like to steal the book you're stealing. Look, I was robbed of pirates. You can let me have this, okay? Uh, what? Oh, Professor Albright. Were you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they were working? Well, <laughs> how did you know? 
Excuse me. My apologies, I would have not, but I didn't see a door. Fair. A moment. So there was a cave door, though. A proof of nothing, mayhap you've heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives. <laughs> but I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now. Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just going to drag this out for the both of us. So let's get straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief and I can prove it. See, that's the tome right there. Ah! What the hell, you can? The truth is, unfortunately for you, at this precise moment, you are trying to sneak back with the key. Your friend, the guardsman, is just waking you from his little slumber. Uh, what? I... <laughs> what is that possible? He was asleep, but I positively. Ah. Upon our friend's son, Holden saw a real chum. It was a slip of the tongue, I tell you. I know nothing about this goddamn book. Is that so? I figured you'd say as much. Perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the academy to prove your innocence, of course. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh damn, damn it! Damn it all hell! Oh! It's a perfect plan. If not for you, you get bloody meddling. You could have had it all. You are a giant. Wow, those are all weaknesses that are conveniently pointless for me. Uh, hmm. Here's if this is going to be any help in this. Oh, yeah, this is an AoE spell. I honestly forgot about that little detail. Now, what next? Oh, flames. Ready, 9%, huh? Uh, might as well try to see if Russell's weak to win. You are actually interesting. You're literally throwing tomes at me. How tall is your weakness? Interesting. Burn time! Nice. Uh oh. Okay, this is actually kind of bad Cyrus. Uh, I need to heal. This is really bad for Cyrus. <laughs> but I am also curious. 84, 69, 80. Why is. Oh, yeah, because I used the pull on you. That's why. You know what? I'll steal from you. 240! Let's try this. Okay, full health again. Russell's muttering an incantation. I mean, that could mean anything, honestly. Hmm. I have no idea if you're vulnerable to this. Wanna well, find out though? That was a big ol' waste. Ooh, that one finished you off. Nice. I'll take those odds. 240. Oh, uh, that one actually hurts. Let's see what the full rest does. Good for SP, terrible for health. Well, yeah, rest really isn't going to help me for my HP much, but it's great for SP restoration. Let's try ice. 
Ooh, you're vulnerable to ice. Handy. Okay, so first up, uh, I need to get health back on you. And I need SP back for the Cyrus here. And now I need HP for Cyrus again! And that's exactly why! Let's try this. You just do not have health. Hmm. Okay, it is a really good thing that you can attack with a win, because otherwise you would be outright useless in this fight. Uh oh. So if you attack with that you can. Okay, it's really good. I need something to attack with. Now, what next? I know that I can just do a simple attack like that. What to do? 46%. Might as well. And attack. 433 down. Nice. Okay, just get that counter down a bit. 67% really not actually all that great. Indeed, uh, I guess is all I really can do. Minus 227. Minus 577, nice. Thanks for throwing the book at me again. Really appreciate it. 100%, you are very nearly in the line of death. Okay, good to know. Yeah, yeah, mutter your incantation already. That should finish you off. Yep. Oh, I finally got the achievement for last time. I told you this is a while. I'm not going to say what it is. It's, it would break flow too much. It's just... Ah, uh, it's funny. Oh, I swear I never meant to. I steal the money. For more gambling. Just so. Oh, that tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Wait, there's consequences? Say it is not so. In stealing that tome, you would steal from my students something more valuable than all the realms of riches! Uh, the, the, the students aren't allowed to read it. It's locked away. We literally had a whole bit about this with the headmaster. If anything, the students are more likely to come across it in the black market. <laughs> a grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it, and all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. You know, like, honestly, uh, I think the students have a better chance of reading it on the black market than they do in this library, and that's kind of the issue. Oh, B, you actually cracked the keys to the Solemn Buck. That I did, and yet I fear this may not be the only volume our friend has purloined. <laughs> so has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes, and revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guard and see that we can redouble the security of the archives. Merrily. What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually... Ah! The far reaches of hell! Ah, from the far reaches of hell! 
No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. 15 years? It's longer than the horn, whatever it was called. That, that country that went away eight years ago. <laughs> Look, my memory's terrible. <laughs> okay. Works is aggressive borrowing only since some two years back. I see, so this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. I guess always, Professor. Please tell me more about the far reaches from hell. Shall I jump into a volcano and find out? According to our records, there seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long lost magics. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, there's the single oldest volume housed in our archives. You just say it was tr a tremendous loss. Oh, yet another mystery would seem. Uh, Professor Albert, the headmaster, is speaking to you at once. Oh my god, you, you are a person that speaks. Again, what could it be this time? <laughs> and perhaps you place a commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. Uh, no, you're going to get pinned for the crime. You are 100% getting fired. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists... This is way too happy-go-lucky, and you need an excuse to be pushed down to the map, so, uh, yeah, no, things aren't looking good for you. I know the headmaster's in the other building, but since I'm pretty sure we're getting fired, I'd like to go in here and see if anyone has anything for sale or for scrutiny, I suppose. Max at speed plus 10 is not a terrible thing, you know, I'm gonna get that, actually. I'll overlook your impudence this time. Hmm. The eldest son in a family that has served the king for generations. He takes pride in his job as a guard and would risk his life to protect the king in his palace. This loyalty has earned him the king's utmost trust. And there's a hidden item somewhere. Found it! It's a healing drape. Hmm, what about the boy? Yeah, like you. What do you have to say about any of this? Ooh, you have a lot of sale. Can't tell if these are good prices. Uh, plus six, plus one, four. I'm gonna check my uh, equipment. Thirty-six and thirty-eight for the spear. That is a considerable upgrade, at least for the physical. The speed goes down, but it's... Honestly, speed's not a massive loss in almost any game. Like, speed is one of those things you kind of have to min-max. Like, you either have to go all in or just not care about it at all. Because its stats tend to be counterintuitive to everything else. So what was the bow at? Eight one two. Oh boy. Now we are definitely getting you. I'm just gonna assume that one's good in this one. Because I can afford dual. Yeah, that is a direct upgrade. Except for the elemental attack, which literally only goes down by one point. Also, occasionally a blind target, which pointless, but it's neat. So, uh, evasion goes down a considerable amount, but the other two actually go up, so. Put the shield. Let's see now. There's a new hidden item around somewhere. A young boy who sneaks into the palace to steal valuables, like the stuff we just bought from you. He sells the spoils to provide a life for himself and is yet to be caught. In actuality, the queen has already noticed, but has turned a blind eye to his actions. Oh well, you're not making me look much of this one. Buckler, whatever that is. Uh, buckler? Buckler? Oh, there you are. You're a shield. You're a terrible shield. You're a really bad shield. Well, I want to talk to these guards up here still. Also, has the king showed up yet? Nope. 
Uh, I'm a wee bit broke now, but uh. Hmm. Born in the slums in the coastland, so way off on the other side of the map. This guard was recognized for his skills and now protects the throne room. Despite holding the same position, he is ridiculed by the other guards simply for his origins, causing tensions between the two. Suppose me and you, because apparently you're a jerk. I can appreciate a jerk. The son of a prominent family in Atlas, them, and one of the guards responsible for, for, for protecting the throne room rather than earning his post, however, is granted to him as he has no merits of his own. Okay, you know, never mind, you're kind of scum. And even if I get a board, they wouldn't really be worth it. Let's go find these hidden items to spawn. Let's see, like, one of these probably in here. Olive of Life. Is that a revival item? Oh, there you are. Yep. So revival items that actually do have value now. I'm not used to that being the case, but yeah, well, since I have two party members... Oh, yep, there's the other one. Small cup, I, s I think that's what I... It's a oh yeah, I still have the page for what I was searching it last time. Yeah, it's 200. Alright, let's go get fired. I am so ready to get fired. Let's get fired. Let's get fired. Let's get inside. And then we get fired. Although I do want to explore around first because I, I might get locked out of this room. Yeah, nothing of value here. There's not even anyone I can talk to. This is boring. Although it's also kind of giving me red flags. No. Oh, chew, hey. That's convenient. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. You are not voiced how I thought you would be. You, you're... Honestly, you could probably convince me that Siri did the voice acting for this. Good. Enter. Hey, sir, can I be fired, sir? Thank you, Lucia. You have a name? Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? <laughs> An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Okay, not where I thought we were going with this, but you know what? We still get to be fired! I, I was expecting that we were going to get pinned for the crime that we just solved. But now we're going to this direction, so you know what? Whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter how... How we lose our jobs, so as we get fired. Oh. The heroes thanks, I suppose. This report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. Oh, your voice is delicious. Time to get fired. That simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. Oh, I definitely understand. Let's get going. We can go join the pirates. I'm not letting that go. It is not an easy decision to make. 
Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Screw the reputation! I'm gonna go join pirates! Do we have a problem, Professor? I can never let that Not go. Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search yes. of an ancient yes. tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. Yes. Wow, he's taking this as a complete stride. An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. That's all see? Oh no, we're still going. Professor. Oh, Therese. What is it? I I heard that you were leaving the academy. I was fired. Except not really fired, but Maybe basically fired. True. I'm so sorry. Well, yeah, I guess you were in the I room see. for a split second. So you were the source of the rumor. You... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? Something, something, love triangle, get, get out of here. This is seriously the best thing that could have ever happened to you and leave. You're always helping her highness. Answering her every question. I know we haven't been able to examine either of them yet, but I'm just going to go under the assumption that neither Therese here or Princess Mary are 18 or room for so let's just get moving, okay? I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. I'm sorry, what's written that, but it's a story-based game, and searching into any of that is a really bad idea. Yes, but I... I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. You didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Well, then you can start by telling the Headmaster that you made it up. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. I really like studying naughty books. No, not that kind of so naughty. My girl, if for anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. No, you are totally innocent. I have no idea what you're trying to Indeed, pin on yourself. I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I really so? had true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Teacher, favoring one student over the other, especially when that other student is literally a royal. Yeah, you know, it is completely fair. Professor, 
Whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. Wait, what? My studies? I have always striven to treat all my students equally. All two of them. And yet, her highness was always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. What others? This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Really, like, do you have names for chance? Because I, I was certain there was only two students. No, really, Professor, leave. Cyrus, go. Never mind. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will, will I ever see you again? Well, it depends if there's a pirate crew to join. Or maybe you can start up my own. Provided we both still live. Well, that's not ominous. Oh. Hello there. Hey, the Royal Palace is always naughty yet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nothing here that's really all that useful. It's I don't have my apocryphy with me. Ooh, guide with ease, that's different. After the great pestilence of the Riverlands, this apocryphy decided to dedicate himself to disease prevention and swift treatment. He now works together with the Royal Academy and Alice Dem to create both medicine and new forms of treatment. Residents of this town will be more receptive to your guidance. I mean, that's nice, but. Neither Tressa nor Cyrus are able to ask for guidance, so... Eh. I know I've already had the history of Ooh, hidden item. The childhood friend of the reckless boy by, by her side, being the older by two years, she was entrusted with watching over him. Despite his endless curiosity, oftentimes putting them both in danger, she takes her role seriously and is prepared to face whatever challenges come her way. Smarter barter bartering. Hmm. Burning the curiosity, this young boy will go to whatever lengths necessary to satiate an interest, even if it puts him in danger. Though his reckless tendencies worry those around him, the oftentimes rare and valuable items he brings back from his adventures have earned him the esteem of his friends. You have a better chance of getting a discount when you purchase items. Ooh. Nice. know that some dirty thing is the same. I saw a blue sparkle for a second. Here's the hidden item. I think I might have just seen the sparkle of one of the windows. Discount at the end, huh? A thoughtful ranger who delivers fresh milk for and this guy's his parents every morning. His parents worry for his future, though, as he dedicates his entire life to work alone. Well, it cost ten before. And it costs nothing now! Oh, well, okay. Well, there's absolutely no reason to say no to it, then. A discount like that. New weapons for sale! In charge of defending the castle town, mercenary turned guards keep vigilant eye on those coming in and out of the gates. Once he spots a suspicious figure, he uses whatever means necessary to apprehend them. Town Smith and Armor have new wares. Handy, but I'm also broke, so uh, I need to find that hidden item that the little girl had that I just could not find. Maybe it's in the tavern? Oh no, there it is. 
Light Soul Stone. Well, unfortunately, like I keep saying, I am broke, so that's a bit of an issue. No, we must. Well, that's handy. I thought it wasn't going to be voiced. That everything. Hello, ominous cloaked figure. Are you from the Assassin's Club? No, I mean, I, I still would prefer to join pirates, but I, I, I mean, still sounds pretty cool, not gonna lie. And so Cyrus left the Academy behind. In search of the lost home, in the far reaches of hell, what dark secrets might its pages hold? Only the gods know. Not that we know anything about the religion in this world. So we are... S oh, and another team that I can't see. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, that is it for this part. As soon as this one's safe. So... You may notice, like, they've actually upped the recommended level for everyone, because it originally recommended level 5. So, Teresa and Cyrus both need to go to Quarry Crest, interestingly enough. Although Cyrus is slightly ahead in level, so I'll probably end up doing Teresa first whenever I get there. Mind you, I'm gonna have to do some leveling <laughs> to get about to that, but again, that's something we'll have to worry about later. So, if I keep going this direction, I'll get to Ophelia next, which is the closest thing this game has to a dedicated healer. Like, the only kind of healer there is otherwise would be Alfin here. But Alfin's more of, a, of an alternative to Cyrus than anything. I think Primrose is probably what is intended to be Ophelia's counter since they have the opposite element and they both have the same field skill. Or similar field skills. But we can worry about that when we get there. Either next time or the time after. Oh, well, okay, I, I guess I have to fight these first. <laughs> well, you're I was gonna do my outro, but uh doesn't look like they're gonna give me much of a choice. And you the pole, that's convenient. Oh, and your inflicted of sleep, that's handy. I'll take that money. Okay. There we go, easy enough. I don't know which one of these to go with. I'll go with ice. But okay, as I was going to say before... Ooh, I level up. I should check my job points because I'm over 120 for uh, Trissa now. Yeah, so I can get one of these. Win damage to all foes. Grant one BP to an ally could be really nice. Dodge a single physical attack with a 100% success rate, eh. Pay money to hire hired help in the battlefield could be helpful, but I seem to be struggling with money as it is, so... Let's say no. Win damage, it's all foes might still just be the best option. Although these two sound really good. Ooh, also there's this one. With the skill, damage, and the supports. Uh, I'm gonna do trade just because it makes sense to do that. Yep, and I got a new sports kill. 
You can now equip support skills from the skills menu. Select skills and equip support skills. Why don't you give it a try? It's called Endless Items. All you need to do is to reap the benefits of these handy skills is to equip them. I gave my after was several minutes ago. Come on. Learn more to unlock additional support skills. Don't forget to equip the, the support skills. You can equip up to four support skills at once. The character of the skill uses an item. There's a 25% chance the item will not be consumed. That... I, I don't know. I, I usually don't like abilities that are stat-based like that. Or something like... There's a 25% chance that this will work. Or there's a 30% chance of this. Like, unless it's like a really high chance. Since I have it now, those two are vulnerable to lightning. I'll let you keep them. Wow, I am very unlucky. Ah, oh, come on. And burn. Let's do this. Thank you. See, like I have to be hopelessly unlucky. <laughs> Again, uh. Oh, when you are weak to staff. I was thinking, like, it'd be weird if you don't have any vulnerabilities that Cyrus doesn't swing. You're found right outside his place. Oh, Chris leveled up. So I is it like if I can get money by going back and forth? There's a spy 154. The chest doesn't get money here. Don't forget how the money thing works, because I didn't say like I might just go back and forth off screen. 28. Wait, so if I just run straight back. Okay, maybe I have to run around a little bit. I see the guy. I now... I don't want to make this much longer than it already is. Seeing if maybe it's like footstep base. Not footsteps in the town, but maybe out here. Like one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Because that's how stairs work. I think they have a cap. I need to warp around now. Like, say, if I warp through Riptide. It's you here, too. Then would it work? I'm gonna workshop this after that part a little bit. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Next time, I will leave the town. Also, I'm gonna talk to some people around here. Maybe even a little bit in Ripple Tide, too. But anyway, see you then. Until then, take care, stay safe, and have a good one. See you next time. Goodbye.